what is up guys how is everybody doing i am tiff welcome back to my channel if you are new welcome make sure you subscribe so you know when all my future readings come out this is going to be a general reading it's not going to resonate for everybody take what resonates leave what doesn't don't force it to fit your situation if you would like a personal all that information is in the description box below let's get right into this spirit ancestors and guys let's get some overall energies of what is going on here with the collective and their person let's get what's going on here spirit ancestors and guides Ooh, the six of pentacles always feel like you're giving always feeling like somebody's giving 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 always feel like somebody always has their hands out and taking 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 okay the spirit wants you to know that even if at times you feel used or you feel like you overdid your played your part or did too much for somebody and sometimes feel it taken advantage of that all the good that you have done for this person is going to come back to you okay so anything that you have done where if even if you feel like you are taking advantage of spirit wants you to know that all of that is, is going to come back to you okay there could be some kind of unexpected inflow of abundance coming in for you okay i feel like you might be able to pay off some kind of debt that you've been worrying about, all right? And I feel like you're also one of those people that always tries to help out other people. And sometimes you might feel like people take advantage of that. But Spirit is saying, nah, they got your back because whatever you did out of the kindness of your heart, trust and believe, they see it. And all that good is about to come right on back to you, okay? What else is going on here, Spirit? Oh, we have the sun. You're stepping into this energy of success, of happiness, of joy, of opportunities, okay? Where you can be like, man, thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, universe. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. It's just like things are going to start looking up for you, okay? Okay. You might have made an investment recently, and I feel like that's going to pay off really well. But it's like, damn, whatever plans also, like when it comes to love, okay, especially if you feel like you gave and gave and gave to a point where you almost felt taken advantage of, I feel like all of that's going to come back to you tenfold. And then whatever plans that you had when it comes to this connection are going to end up working out perfectly. And the reason why I say that is because we have the lover's card here, right? I feel like somebody's finally realizing. Now, this could have been a third party situation. The lovers, yes, it is a deep spiritual connection, but the lovers used to be called the choice. Somebody had a choice to make. There's two, there's more than one person involved, a spiritual connection and a climate connection, right? And it's almost like somebody is ready to come in and embrace this true love, this deep, intimate friendship that the two of you guys have. And somebody here, and it literally says it right there, is about to make a choice from the heart, okay? Um, somebody hasn't been feeling themselves, somebody's been feeling sick, somebody's been feeling anxious, somebody ain't been sleeping right, feeling good, just somebody's been feeling off, okay? And they know it's because they need to give to a situation here. And I feel like you have been just praying or manifesting that this person can just not even meet you halfway, but at least give to the connection and show that they want to be in this connection with you. But they might have had another person that could have been attached, but they're ready. They're ready to embrace. They value your friendship over anything, but this is an intimate friendship. This is a friendship that grew into a beautiful chemistry. Even if y'all were even sleeping together in the beginning, it was like a friend thing. And then it blossomed because, you know, and since everything has gone bad, this person's health, somebody's health, and you could be feeling their energy, feeling sick, feeling nauseous at times. It's their energy because they don't feel right without you, 
okay? And so they're going to come in and they're going to choose to embrace this connection and embrace this love. And it's going to be a time of joy, a time of success. Like you're going to really be happy because everything that you've manifested, everything that you have wanted has finally worked out perfectly. All the giving that you did, all the effort you put out, it's going to come back. The good that you do is going to come back and it's going to come back in your favor. Let's see what else is going on here, Spirit. Yeah, you were dealing some, with somebody that was hot and cold that you might have felt like they only came around when they needed something at times, okay? The Knight of Wands is definitely the player of the deck. This is somebody that's very passionate. They're very confident. They're charismatic, okay? This could be somebody that uh, wakes up at the ass crack of dawn drinking coffee, you know, goes to sleep early, you know. I don't know why that's coming up, but whoever this person is, whatever has transpired here, they know that they need to take immediate action towards you, okay? And in the past, they would avoid and deny their instincts, but this person isn't denying those instincts anymore. They are trusting their instincts and they're focusing on the prize, which is you, okay? They're very passionate about you and they are coming straight motherfucking towards you. What else is going on here, spirit, ancestors, and guides? Oh, yeah, this person is coming. Like, they know where their passion lies. They know where they're happy at. But they know that they're very, very hot and cold. And this person does. They're 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 good looking. They're, they're confident. They got some charisma, you know. This person might either stay up really late or they might be one of those people that get up really early, okay? And this person is very, very scared. See, the reason why they feel like they need to take immediate action towards you is because they're terrified that you're going to end up walking away, that you're going to say, I'm done with this, okay? It's like, I feel like somebody's scared that you're going to be in this energy where you just need to move on, you know? You feel like you need to just seek more from life than what you're experiencing with this person, Okay? And I feel like somebody is scared that you are going to be making some big life changes. And I feel like in the past, you could have made this person your priority, right? Um, and I feel like they're scared that you're going to change your priority and you're going to walk away from them. With seven cups left in the chest, this person could have had a lot of options. And it's almost like they're scared that you're just going to take your little cup because this person has the cup in their little bag and they have their dog and they're just going to be like, you know what, I'm done. I'm done. And so whoever this Knight of Wands is who's hot and cold, in and out, charismatic, thinks they're the shit, they know that they're... Their instincts are telling them that they need to get to you and they need to talk to you and they need to see you before you finally get to that point where you're like, I'm done. I'm going to move on. I'm going to seek more than to life than what's out there. You know, I'm going to make some big changes in my life. I'm, you might even decide to move to another place. You know, like this is, this person is very scared of that. And this person knows that one time in life, you made them your priority. And they are very, very scared that as you start looking toward in other directions, and I'm not talking about just like in relationships, I'm talking about in life, spiritual quest, that you are going to leave them behind. Mm-hmm, that four of wands, 11-11, two of pentacles, 
Um, this person could be really trying to work very, very hard. This person could be trying to pick up multiple jobs, okay? Um, but this person feels like you and them hit a slump, okay? They feel like you and them just kind of hit a very, very rough patch in your connection, but they know that deeper, this is a fun, a loving, a happy, laughing, a vibe, like... This person knows how good this relationship is, but they feel like you guys have hit a really, really rough patch, okay? And this person is on the inside is starting to feel that need, like they need to bring the balance and the fun back into the connection, right? Back into your life again, right? I feel like at times this person feels like... um day two were in a stagnant place and might have been unhappy at times because they weren't having enough fun but at the time it's like that's their choice because they can go out and do what they want right but this person is also at right now juggling a lot of priorities okay and probably too many and they're doing bad financially because it's like they're trying to juggle the budget. They're trying to juggle these priorities, you know, and the balance is within you. And even if you guys just net Netflix and chill and lay at home and don't even got to spend no money, that balance, that fun, that energy is with you. And right now they're out here really having to find odd jobs and pick and scrape including their own jobs because it's like they done created some chaos in their life when they had this four of wands 11 11 twin flame soulmate and the four of wands before i even read the cards to me the four of wands that's a happy home that's stability happiness contentment at home every you know things to celebrate to the to the higher powers right and they had this here they had this with you they had stability contentment you know you ain't gotta go out and spend a million bucks to impress nobody you know just chilling but they created some kind of chaos within this connection especially with that lovers being here if they had somebody else involved and so now they're out here in this chaotic ass lifestyle trying to budget trying to figure out how the fuck they're gonna make it like i said trip might be motherfucking bumming and begging for fucking cigarettes right whatever they can't they can barely make it but with you they weren't looking like that i don't know why i keep saying bumming cigarettes somebody in my collective has a heavy smoker because i said that in two readings okay i don't smoke okay but now they're trying to balance their butt, figure out what they're going to do with you. It wasn't like that. They didn't have to balance nothing out. They didn't have to figure shit out. Hell, shit. Shit was all right. Shit was content. Things were good at home. Mm. And they know you gave and gave and gave and they didn't give shit. And they might have given somewhere else. And now here they come. They know they got to take immediate action towards you because... You're at that verge where it's like, shit, I can move on. I can seek what else is out there. I can take this cup. Since, since you supposedly got all these options in and out, I can take this cup and move on elsewhere. Right? You could have had this 11-11. This destined connection. This twin flame connection. This contentment. But you couldn't be content. So since you couldn't be content, it's like spirit telling them like showing them like oh you couldn't be content with your with your counterpart with what, what y'all had there oh you couldn't well, let me show how show you how chaotic i can make your life yeah ego look because of their motherfucking ego this person was stuck in a damn ego the illusion of being trapped accept responsibility for your situation and then make choices that support your path, path to happiness addictions or unhealthy habits this person was stuck in their ego and they need to break the chains of that whoever this person for some reason they couldn't be content here they felt trapped or they felt like they couldn't do what they wanted to do and they could do what they want to do they had freedom there was trust 
But now they need, and now they're out here chaotic, trying to balance their budget, blaming everybody else. But they need to take accountability for their own motherfucking actions. They need to take accountability for their own situation. And now spirit is showing them, you need to start making decisions that support your path to happiness. Stop playing games. Stop, stop with these addictions and unhealthy habits and cycles that you continue to do. Yeah, spirit's wanting this person to finally find, like, come on, balance that shit out. The power of diversity, a successful compromise, self-control, patience, and balance. And this is what spirit is, in, is putting into this person. And I never read this for of ones, but spirit wants you to know that 1111 11 twin flame, there is something coming for y'all. There's going to be a lot to celebrate. So send gratitude to the divine and the angels for the peace and prosperity that's coming to you. Peace and contentment in your personal life. Like good shit is coming, but they got to break the chains of this ego. They got to go through this little bit of chaos before they can realize what contentment and love truly is. All right. All right. That's what I have for you guys. If that resonates at all, comment below. Let me know. Until next time, loves. Peace.